friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make this beautiful candle crochet pattern you can use this pattern as a candle holder cup coaster mug mat or even as a pot holder during Christmas this can be a very good gifting option too for this pattern we need a yarn of our choice and I am going to use a hook of 2.5 mm so we are going to begin with slip knot now chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have to go back to the first chain insert the hook in the yarn over pull through both the loops now chain 1, 2, 3, 4 which counts as a treble crochet wrap the yarn twice on the hook insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through 2, pull through 2, pull through 2 treble crochet 2, 3, 4 and 5 Chain 3 for chain space. Wrap the yarn twice on the hook. Treble crochet 1. Chain 3 for chain space. Now we have to do 8 more trebles into the ring with chain space of 3. So complete making 8 more trebles with chain space of 3 across the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed. Now when these 10 trebles are complete with chain spaces of 3 we have to do chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of first treble with slip stitch. Chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 2, on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 3, on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 4, on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 5. Chain 1, 2, 3. We have to join the stitches into the chain space of 3 with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Join the stitches into the same chain space of 3 with slip stitch. Chain 3 again. 1, 2, 3. Yarn over into the next chain space of 3. Double crochet 1. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Chain 4 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Into the fourth chain that we did earlier. Join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 again to be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 again to be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 again. To be joined into the fourth chain with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. To be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. To be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, Chain 4 to be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 to be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 4 to be joined into the same stitch with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 again yarn over 
into the same chain space of three weeks we have to join all these stitches with double crochet so this is what we have made chain one two three into the chain space of three join the stitches with slip stitch chain four one two three four join the stitches into the same chain space of three with slip stitch chain one two three into the next chain space of three double crochet one now we have to do four chains and we have to make this small flower with three with four chains once twice and thrice again we have to do four chains chain four for the three times to make this little flower chain four again we have to do chain four three times to be joined into the same stitch chain four again so we have to follow this pattern for five times one two three four five complete the round and we will meet again when this pattern across the round would be completed when this round is complete as you can see these patterns across the round are complete we have to do chain 3 to be joined into the next chain space of 3 with slip stitch chain 4 to be joined into the same chain space of 3 with slip stitch chain 3 now we have to join all these stitches on the top of double crochet with slip stitch chain 3 which counts as a double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 3 4 and 5 chain 3 again turn the pattern on the top of next 4 double crochet we have to do 4 double crochet so 1 2 3 and 4 chain 3 turn the pattern again 4 double crochet again 1 2 3 4 so we have completed 1 2 3 4 rows of double crochet chain 3 turn the pattern we have to do once more so three chains which counts as a double crochet double crochet two three four and five now turn the pattern chain one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet two chain one two three four five six to be joined on the top of the same stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the next stitch we have to come with slip stitch into this chain space of six single crochet one two three half double crochet one double crochet one two on the top of this double crochet chain three to be joined on the top of the same stitch with slip stitch double crochet three half double crochet one single crochet one two and now we have to join these patterns on the top of next double crochet with slip stitch now this crochet pattern for candle is complete these are the beautiful candle pattern and you can use this pattern as a 
candle holder as a pot holder cup coaster mug mat during christmas and for festive seasons as well thank you so much